Hey guys, Dan from The Guru. So uh, yesterday we found this uh, amazing specimen, just get out of the sun, of a King George Whiting, uh, nearly 50 centimeters. So today we thought we'd show you how to fill it him up. So stay tuned. All right, so here's our Whiting. Uh, we'll call him George. So we've, uh, we've actually scoured it, but we've left the guts intact. So we'll show you how we clean it up. Um, might be a little bit messier than normal because I'm battling with a, uh, a chest cam, but let's see how we go. So basically what I like to do is start behind the fin um, and just sort of get in here and just on an angle, bring it, bring it, bring a cut all the way back down to the back of the head there. Okay, so from there, we work along the, sp the spine or the backbone of the fish. Right. Don't mind the flies. It's an absolute, uh, absolute stinker of a day today. We work about halfway down the fish. And then what we do is we actually push the knife all the way through to the belly. And then we just sort of cut along. Now you can actually feel... You can feel the bone, like the um, the spine or the backbone of this fish, and you can sort of work along all the way to the tail, just like that. We missed a couple of scales, go away flies. All right, let's just try and adjust this a little bit. And you can see here that there's actually not a lot of meat there. All right, that's pretty bad. And you'll see when we um, when we do the other side, you'll actually be able to see through. So what we need to do now is we just need to fill it, finish off. So you can sort of fill the ribs. And then what you do is you just sort of slice down and along that rib cage. You can see the ribs, hopefully, get some sun on it. You can see the rib cage there. And we're just cutting along that. And that's going to maximize our meat yield off of this fish. All right. Just sort of there we go. Now we're sort of getting down to that belly flap, and then we just cut her off, and there you have it. All right, so that's one, that's one fillet down for the flies anyway. Hopefully they leave us some. We then flip the fish over and do exactly the same on the other side. So we'll sort of start behind the fin here, go down to the head, just follow that spine or that pectoral fin or lateral fin I'm not sure it's been a long week now sorry guys it's a bit tricky with this harness on we're about halfway mark we push all the way through and then we just sort of work along that bone just like such now this isn't our favorite filleting knife we left the good martinis at home on this trip. So this is our backup set that we keep in the van. If we open this out, again, we'll just sort of work down that rib cage. Move the fish over this way so we can see what we're doing. So we're working down that rib cage. You can sort of hear it. Working along, and then we got down to that belly section again. All right, and we just cut her off. Easier said than done. Just like that. So now we've got two good fillets for the flies. If I hold this up, even with the crap knife, you can see that she's almost see through. Um, with the martini, I would have actually been able to get even more meat off again. Um, this knife's not ideal, obviously, but it did the trick. So we'll just put that aside. Now, in order to make this... Hold on, I just lost my camera. Sorry. In order to make this a little bit more palatable for the table, there is actually a line of bones uh, just, just sort of through here. So obviously, um, we probably want to remove those. Just, just you know, they're not very nice to, to get a munch on. Um, if you do buy whiting fillets commercially, they normally have a V section, which is what we're about to do. And all that is, is they're just getting rid of those bones probably the easiest way possible. So we're just going to do that. You just want to, you don't really want to waste anything. 
Alright, so we just sort of right along the edge of those bones. Alright. I like to leave this skin on my whiting as well. We'll do it for the other one. There it is, it's just along there. So we sort of run as close as we can to it. And then again, Yep, and they're just sort of they're just all in there. You can sort of hear it hopefully on the camera. All right, so there we have it. We got two beautiful fillets of King George Whiting. Um, we'll cook those up shortly. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps.